determined that you're not permitted to have any solid food. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell, hell no. Hey Bam Fam and welcome back to another video. It's your girl Amber here. If you guys are new, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, also leave a comment. I would love to meet you. And if you guys are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for supporting me on my YouTube journey. So today I want to go over with you guys just a little bit of the start of my breast reduction surgery. So I get surgery in two days y'all. Yes, two days. Today is July 14th, 2023. My surgery date is scheduled for Monday. Um, I did receive the phone call today of the time of my surgery, which is going to be at 12.30, um, P no, 12.30 in the afternoon. And uh, she told me I have to be there at 11. So they actually gave me a phone number that I would need to call so that way I can hear, you know, what is needed, what I need to do before surgery. So I'm actually going to go over that with you guys here today so you guys can hear, you know, what I needed to listen to before my surgery. So let me go ahead and call into that and we're going to listen together, girl, because I don't know and we shall see so when i got a phone call from one of the nurses she gave me some homework that i would need to do which is call this number it's about eight minutes long it'll tell you exactly what it is that you need all right so we're gonna call it all right hold on <laughs> hello you have reached the pre-op instruction line you are scheduled for surgery at ahn wexford hospital located at 12351 harry highway wexford pennsylvania 15090. Note that your procedure is scheduled at the main hospital, not the outpatient surgery center located at the Wexford Wellness Pavilion. Look until you see the security desk. All parking at Wexford Hospital is free. These are the pre op instructions for general and IV sedation cases, including those getting nerve blocks. These instructions do not apply for patients who will receive local anesthesia. You are permitted to have two support people over the age of 18 with you on the day of your surgery. Children under the age of 18 are not permitted in the hospital. Only one of the support people are permitted back in the pre-op and recovery area at a time. The gift shop, bean crew, and cafeteria are open to visitors. Free Wi-Fi is also available throughout the building. Additionally, during the time at the hospital, Visitors are required to wear a face mask and follow social distancing guidelines. The day before your surgery, you are permitted to eat and drink up to 12 midnight, except for alcohol, unless otherwise instructed by your physician. Alcohol and recreational drugs are not to be consumed the day before surgery and possibly longer than that according to your surgeon's instructions. No tobacco in any form is to be used after midnight. Nicotine patches are permitted and can be worn into the hospital on the day of your surgery. Additionally, no nicotine gum, lozenges, or vaping is permitted after midnight. After midnight, you're not permitted to have any solid food. That includes no chewing gum, throat lozenges, mints, or hard candy. However, you are permitted to have clear liquids that aren't red in color up until three hours prior to your surgery. Clear liquids include water, vitamin water, Gatorade, Clear juices with no pulp, such as apple juice or white grape juice, jello, popsicles, clear broth, black coffee or tea with sugar, sweetener or honey. Remember that you cannot have milk, cream or powdered creamer in your coffee or tea. If you are a diabetic, please make sure that you have regular and diet varieties of the previously stated products available so that you can maintain a stable blood sugar. At three hours prior to surgery, you are no longer allowed to have anything by mouth, including water. If your pre-op nurse has instructed you to take any medications, you are able to take your medications with a sip of water, even if it is within the three-hour window that you are not able to drink any liquid. Please shower the night before surgery and the morning of your surgery with antibacterial soap, such as Dial or Safeguard. 
Some surgeons direct their patients to purchase special soap to bathe with, such as Hibiclens or Chlorhexidine. You should follow their instructions. If you use that special type of soap, do not use it on the face or genital area since it can be harsh. Please use a clean towel following your shower. You can use any type of shampoo or conditioner, but once you finish, don't apply any products to your skin or hair, including deodorant, lotion, powder, perfume, aftershave, hairspray, mousse, or gel. Make sure to wash your hair prior to washing your body. Please brush your teeth and rinse your mouth before coming in. If your doctor instructed you to use any special mouthwash during your perioperative visit, please follow those instructions. In an effort to prevent post-operative infections, please ensure that you have clean linen on your bed at home post-op. We also discourage you from sleeping with any pets for the first few weeks after your surgical procedure. Remove all jewelry and leave it at home. This includes wedding rings and all piercings. If you have any jewelry that you can't remove on your own, we ask that you go to a jeweler or piercing establishment to have it removed. Plastic spacers can be used unless they're located at the surgical site. If you wear contact lenses or glasses, please wear your glasses to the hospital and bring your glasses case with you. No contacts can be wear, worn the day of surgery. We prefer no nail polish, gel nails, or dipped nails unless it is clear or light. Acrylic nails can remain on if there's a clear, light, or French manicure. Please leave all valuables at home. Bring your driver's license, insurance card, both medical and prescription, and a method of payment for any prescription that will be filled that day, and have your support person hold it for you. Also bring any device or authorization card instructed by the pre-op nurse, and if you require the use of portable oxygen, please ensure that you have an adequate oxygen supply for the drive to and from the hospital. Furthermore, if you are bringing an overnight bag, post-op medical equipment, and or a CPAP machine, leave them in the car when you arrive. Please remember to wear something loose and comfortable that will be easy to get into after surgery. If you're having shoulder surgery and were given a sling or brace by your doctor, please remember to bring it with you. Shoulder surgery patients should wear a very large shirt that buttons, zips, or snaps down the front that will fit over your sling or brace. Please call 878-231. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it for the phone call, which it goes over what you can and cannot do before surgery, what you need to wear, you know, what you need to bring, and everything that you need to leave at home. Um, so you guys seen that I was saying the CPAP machine. So I'm on a CPAP machine, and the CPAP machine is for anyone who has sleep apnea. And if you guys don't know what that is, it's pretty much just like a, a condition of which it causes you to snore at night. You know, anyone who has gained an amount of weight, it, it kind of like blocks your airways in your throat, which it makes it a little hard for you to breathe at night and for you to sleep properly and to allow airflow to go through there. <clears throat> so what the CPAP machine does is it just, it's something that goes over your neck. I got the one that goes over the nose because I don't want anything in my mouth. I don't sleep with my mouth open. Um, so I have it under my nose and it helps me breathe at night. And I promise you it is the best thing that I've ever done in my life was to get a CPAP machine because I've gained a lot of weight I'm heavier and it's just like it's uncomfortable so the CPAP machine I do have to bring that so I will bring that as well and I'll show you guys what it looks like um, so you guys can see but if you are having issues with your partner you know stating that you snore sometimes you stop breathing when you're asleep at night and you're having issues with that I would definitely recommend that you go see a sleep doctor for a CPAP machine I promise you it will change your life like I literally used to go to sleep I would wake up so groggy, so tired, so miserable 
with that CPAP machine, I promise you, I wake up and I'm like a brand new person. So I'll show you guys what that looks like in just a minute. So you guys heard the phone call, you know, that I have. And my surgery, once again, is scheduled for Monday at 1230. I am super duper excited. So without further ado, let me just go ahead and show you guys everything that I purchased um, for post-op of the surgery and everything that I'm going to need when I get home. You know, these are things that I've been seeing on TikTok, also YouTube, of things that I may need because I never had a breast reduction before, so I don't know what I need. I don't know what's going to help. Um, so I was just watching everything and I got what pertains to me as far as what I think I need for my surgery. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. The first thing that I want to show you guys here this is a leg wedge pillow um so this is going to be at the bottom of the bed for you to sit your legs on top of because i guess when you have your breast reduction surgery you're gonna have to sleep on your back um so i have a wedge for that i don't know if you guys can see it it's big as hell okay so i got that and then i've already had like a wedge pillow i'm gonna wash it um, cause I use it, but I have a wedge pillow that I sit up on the bed right now. I don't use it to sleep, um, but I like to sit up on the bed because my back hurts. Um, so sometimes laying down, it's uncomfortable. So when I'm like sitting up and I'm watching TV on the bed or on the couch or anything, I'll sit this wedge pillow behind me. And what it does is it just keeps me up ways and you know, it feels so much better. Um, so this is the one you're going to have to use you see how it wedges down you're gonna have to sleep with that on the bed so it'll sit up on the bed and then you have your leg wedge pillow and I also heard that it helps you you know get out of bed a lot easier okay so those are the first two things that I purchased um, the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is what I've seen a lot of people get is these surgical pads so they're going to be these surgical pads. It's cushion comfort. Um, I see that people use the surgical pads for underneath. You know, anytime that they're bleeding heavy under there, they'll, they'll put the surgical pads under there. So that way the blood can, you know, drip on the surgical pads. So I got this. I actually purchased this from CVS. It has 12 pads in a pack. Um, it states that it's extra absorbent. You guys can see that extra absorbent. I also purchased some laxatives that I purchased. Um, I did hear that with the pain pills, it's gonna be hard for you to go to the bathroom. You guys can see that. Those, and it'll help you, you know, go to the bathroom poop whenever you are constipated. Another thing that was recommended was to get spray deodorant because you're not going to be able to like lift your arms up so it's easier for you to just get the spray and just spray it under there so your underarms ain't stinking because you ain't going to be able to take a shower for about three to four days after surgery so this is the one that i purchased i got this also from cvs all right next thing i got is this what is these called babe neck pillow I got a neck pillow. I ordered this off of Amazon. Uh, this is the one that had like really high reviews. You know how this works. You just go ahead and sit it there. So that way when you're like laying down or, you know, watching TV. This one is so comfortable. And I will link this stuff below if you guys want to purchase it. This one is really, really comfortable. And if you guys know me, you know that I love Amazon. Um, so if I'm reading something, if I'm purchasing something, I am always reading reviews. I'm not going to find something and I'm going to click on it and buy it. I need actual real reviews. Like you can see look at how easy my hand gets you can see how soft this thing is this is probably the best so the next thing that i got is some compression socks now i purchased these off of amazon um and what i heard you know as far as the compression socks this is what these compression socks look like they're really long um now the next thing that I purchased is a is one of these. 
I don't know what I forgot what this is called, but they um it has like a like a little clip, and what it does is I heard that this is like one of the best pillows that you can have. I got it on Amazon. So what what happens is is that you sit it here, and it goes you know under your arms like this. So when I'm in the car and I'm driving home, I can put my seatbelt on. It has little pockets in there in the front and then also the back. So if you want to put like your phone, your remote, that's what I'm going to be using it for. But, you know, you put some little snacks in there, you know, stuff like that. So it has a little thing in there and you can actually clip it to your body so that it's on more. Um, so actually now that I took this out, I'm actually going to let this sit out because they said on the note that it takes about 24 hours for that to puff, puff up to its full capacity. So I'm going to leave that out right now. Another thing that I purchased that was recommended was a surgical bra. And my actual doctor did tell me to get a surgical bra. Um, and I think, I know they send you home with one, but I bought another one anyway and I went with the color white because I want to track my progress like I want to track my blood progress and see you know what's going on down there so I got this off of Amazon you see that it buttons up in the front it actually has velcro so I only got one of those for right now the next thing I got is this face and body scar gel from Amazon y'all uh, once again I read the reviews the reviews are amazing they said that this works wonders so we'll we'll see how that works the next thing that I did purchase is some slippers now upstairs we have carpet we have carpet everywhere but for downstairs like these are memory foam slippers that I got off of Amazon downstairs we don't have any carpet so I just my feet hurts all the freaking time so the compression socks is gonna be great for that and then also the slippers because we have like hardwood floors down there and we have you know carpet up here so I got some slippers I got me some pajamas now these pajamas I got a while ago I only paid a dollar ninety seven for the top and a dollar ninety seven for the bottoms. These I got from Old Navy. It's like the buttons and everything on there. This one's long sleeve in case I get cold. I got a whole bunch of like short sleeve ones. So with the short sleeves, here's the shorts that goes to one that I purchased. And look at this cute top, y'all. So cute, so cute. Look at that. Look at that. Yes, it's white. Don't judge me. It's cute and I want to be cute. So that's the first one. Uh, this one I've had for a long time. I got this one from Victoria's Secret. I've had this for a long while. And then this one's also a button up. And then they got the little cute little V on the side. Little V, period. These cute little ones I ordered from Shein. Little shorts. I got the top to match. Super, super cute. I got another one from Shein. The shorts look like. This is what the top looks like. Cute. Now you see that the video said that you got to wear something comfortable and something loose for you to wear um, for after surgery. <sighs> yeah. So this one I got from Shein as well. So cute. I just want to walk around and be cute in my pajamas. You can see that's also a button up there. So you see I got my pajamas for after surgery. I got my essentials that I would need for surgery. So I pretty much got all of that out of the way. And 
the only thing that's pretty much left is right now I'm working on the bedroom to get the bedroom set up for me because this is mainly where I will be um, so I'm gonna get the bedroom set up you know get all of my essentials I have my water bottle I'll show you guys that so I have my water bottle I don't remember where I got this from um, but I love this water bottle so that way babe ain't running all up in stairs all day and night trying to get me something to drink I will be drinking only water and tea that I purchased um, and we did go food shopping but it's my water bottle it's nice and big it's gonna take me a good while to finish this um, you know a day so I'll be filling this up so that's pretty much it for the essentials. I just wanted to show you guys what I purchased and what I have for my breast reduction surgery. Um, so the next video, what we'll be doing is you guys will be seeing me set up, which is on Sunday. Today is currently Friday. So you will see me set up the bedroom and my side of the room for surgery and everything that I'll need. And I'll show you guys that. Um, but if you guys made it to the end of this video i hope that this was helpful and i hope that you guys can find something that i purchased that would help you if you plan on having a breast reduction surgery in the near future so now that that's over as far as what i purchased you guys heard the phone call now closing the video i just kind of want to give you guys my thoughts because surgery is in two days and my thoughts right now is honestly, I'm just really excited. I can't wait. I'm not nervous. I'm not scared. This is something that I have been looking for forward to for a very long time. Like if you guys watched my video previously and I'll go ahead and post it here for you guys. If you guys want to go back and watch that as to why I wanted to get a breast reduction surgery. Um, right now I'm just ready uh, I'm ready Monday couldn't come any faster as I'm sitting here and I'm talking to you guys my back is on fire if I had to rate the pain from 1 to 10 right now I'm at an eight and a half so I'm gonna have to stop sitting here like this very soon um, because the pain is like almost unbearable like last night I was literally about to cry and sometimes I have to come upstairs and lay down and you know a lot of the girls have been saying it's been uncomfortable to like lay on your back but I have to lay on my back right now because I'm a side sleeper but I haven't been able to sleep on my side because the pain is so unbearable so it's like when I get into bed and I lay on my back the back pain kind of eases I guess because my boobs are rising at that point so it's not so much weight that I'm carrying around um, but yeah, that's the only thing that kind of makes me feel better. So I don't mind sleeping on my back. But, you know, the videos that I've watched so far, all the girls who had their breast reduction surgery said that their back pain has been gone. They've been feeling so much better. And also people that I know who've had it previously too. It, it's been drastically life-changing. So if it's something that you guys are interested in, I say get it. I am going to go ahead and walk you guys through my process. I'm going to have babe film when I'm in the hospital. I'm going to try to get everything for you. I'm going to try to be as detailed as possible about my process and my recovery. Um, so if you guys enjoyed this video please make sure that you like comment also subscribe and also turn on your post notifications so you guys don't miss any videos in my process <sighs> two days y'all two days and I'm super excited so I'm gonna go ahead and close this video here I will see you guys on Sunday when I show you guys my room setup and my post-op bag that I'm gonna pack and then also just film the process from the night before up until surgery um, so you guys can see that process as well. So thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye ladies.